Hey guys, okay, what's up? Um, before I get started, I'm gonna explain something to you about this. Okay, first let me just let me tell you guys, this is my new stack. Um, it's my new called the, the Sheen Collection, X-I-N-G. And it means Xing Xing means star in Chinese in Mandarin. So you guys know like whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna know that because I'm public here, but forget it. Stop, okay? So um anyway, I this is all gold filled and um I'm so excited. You guys know that my my collection is always what I like right now. Like it doesn't always have to be expensive, it doesn't always have to be inexpensive. Like if I have a vibe or if I have like chains that I love or like new charms I'm like that aren't or that aren't, you know, 14K or that aren't 14K, like, I don't care. I love to do what I love. Like, I may be doing shirts. Like, you know what I mean? Stupid thing. Okay. So, and I like that too because it's there's always something for everyone. And, but it will always be what I love, okay? So this is my new collection. And the one that I want to say something first about it only because, okay, so all the, these, these, these start at like $43. Like they're really great. They're 14K gold filled, so they are definitely durable. Um, and they're just really, I hand make all of them just so you guys know. And also what I was gonna say is this entire stack, if you buy the whole thing, I'll put the link right below, it's like $40 off. So you basically get like one of the better pieces for free, you know what I mean? Like in the end, okay? And um, yeah. So I was going to say, okay, the thing is a lot of these do come like this one comes in different lengths and this one comes in different lengths. Anyway, this one comes in this length too, but in the set, if you buy it all together, I suggest getting this length, but if you wanted to get the long length, I can do that for you too. It doesn't matter. Just let me know in the notes section and I won't even charge you more for it. Um, but so I'm going to be like, I think I forgot to bring that length. So now I'm like, ugh, like this is the long one is not the one that you actually get in the stack. So I'm sorry, I wanted to like take care of this like first so you guys know in case it starts to fall. Um, and this, I love this, it's so cute. It has little stars and then crystal baguettes, star crystal baguette and it's like goes around. And there's also an, a moon option. So there's one with little stars and then moons and they're little star bursts, they're not moons. You can see it really clear. And this is a really cute just little like tag with a star burst on it. And also what I wanna talk about is this and this. If you've been, o if you're like OG, HRH subscriber, customer, You'll know this is Lux Tattoo. You'll be like, that looks like Lux Tattoo. It is Lux Tattoo vibe, but it's I updated it now. It's now 14K gold filled, and I'm not offering the silver one anymore. So I've changed it now, um, and it's a, it's only a couple dollars. Honestly, I didn't even like raise the price that much. Like I just wanted. I want you guys. I like want you guys to like keep loving my line. I you know I don't not. I just want you guys to like love it. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to like raise prices when it's when it's 14K gold filled too much, okay? When it was a design that I've already done. So, um, yeah, and this comes, this is at the choker, and this is the 21 inch chain, and also comes in 26 inch chain, because that's the one I used to do, is 26, but I love a 21. Okay, one more thing is, I also designed this st stack to layer easily with your Studio 54 necklaces and other things. So I know a lot of you guys are loving the Studio 54 necklaces. I took them off this time, only because I didn't want you to get confused as to which what you would get in the set, um, but, so like, for example, this is like a 15 and this is 18 and this is 21, okay? But then like your Studio 54s are like 16 and 20 inch, right? So it's like everything will just slightly like show, it'll all like layer and I always wanna do that. Um, just so it's like effortless and easy, you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, I love this look, I just wanna show you guys, okay? That's what I'm gonna talk about first, and then wearing um, my, co these are my, I think they're called the Coco Crush, or Crush Hearts, Crush Hearts, something like that. These are 10K, I love them, they're hearts with little um, starbursts on them as well. And then I'm wearing my safety pin, treasure safety pin, and my uh, paper clip, and then some other hoops over here, and then I'm wearing, this is my huge opal, this is only to, to order via email, uh, it's a custom piece, and then my heart nugget, okay, you guys know everything, so lay link, okay. So I just want to get started with I want to get that over because like I said, I know this is going to start creeping down. You're going to be like, what the hell? Okay, first things first. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about my lips. Um, actually, first things first is these videos have literally just become, do I look, I, I look skinny, right? Like, I just feel like, I honestly, like, I feel like I'm so on with this hair sometimes. Like, I, I feel like I look good with my hair up no matter if I'm, like, skinny or not, but... I just feel like very on right now. I just feel like my nose doesn't look the best, but whatever. Okay, so um, I have, you guys, like I'm not even joking you. 
I did something so good. Like, I'm done. I'm done with everything in life. Like, I want to sit in the mirror and, like, do these lips over and over. You guys are going to die over this. Do not even, don't worry, there's noise. Okay, do not even try anything else. I've done the work for you. Just like I've done the work in the layering for you guys. Okay, I've already done it so we can all, I've done the work for this, okay? I'm gonna set up, I know, the sun's like stupid. Is, is, is the sun stupid? Are we annoyed? Should I move back? Maybe I'll move back. Yeah, okay, I'll move back. Is that better? Okay, yeah, okay, it's really stupid. All right, so sorry I'm blinking. I'm blinking too because my hair is like really tight, so it's like kind of bothering me. All right, hello. okay. These are my two NYX pencils, and I'm going to tell you guys the colors that you must buy. The thing is, I understand, like, everyone's lips colors are different, so it's going to be weird. But if you think we're the same tone, then you should get these. Um, the one that I start off with is the natural, and it's, um, yeah, just natural, okay? So I'm starting off with natural, and I am I swear to God, like, okay, remember how I told you guys I was filling in my Cupid's bow before? I... I, I really, really think it fixed my face. Like, my, you know what I mean? Like, it legitimately fixed my face and I got to, took it a step further and continue to fix my face, okay? So let me show you what I've done. Um, okay, if you want, and I, I always get compliments on my lips too, so you guys know where I get my lips done, Collology, and if you don't go to Collology and get your lips done, like, I don't know what you're doing, you should be going, okay? Because they're really nice to me and they've been doing my lips for like eight years, okay? Actually, they're the only ones who've ever really touched who've ever touched my lips. Here we go. Don't do anything else other than this. I don't even want to see it. Don't make fun of me yet, just don't, because you're gonna be like, holy shit. I've seen like, I know what my problem is on my face. Don't, it looks bad right now. Just let me finish it. I am creating a lip here because I don't have like my lips like fade or something towards the end. Okay. Okay. Just wait. too people are like it's just not really it's a fucking pissing contest or something they're like i've been doing that for like ever or something on here like it's like so what like i just hate it. i hate some of these comments on here it's so annoying like did i say you like you haven't been doing it so dumb okay no Unfortunately, I don't have my phone with me to show you, but you can go look up a picture of Sophia Loren. And you can see how her lips, her liner has like, she's like a straight lip here. Okay, now just stop. I know you don't like it yet. Take, take your finger, not hard. Take it like a dead finger and just go like, like really lightly do that. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like hit your lip, okay? So that is pretty much. Let me let me hold the fucking thing. Make sure it's perfect. You guys are gonna like fucking have my head if I don't have perfect. You know? Okay, hold on. Show my ugly. This is my ugly side. Yeah, this is right. 
Do we love it? Do you see what I mean? I am not, I'm not fucking around with this right now. Like I fixed my face. I, like I'm looking at myself in the mirror over there. Like I fixed my damn face. Okay. I love that one. And then this one, if you want to look like extra, like you like more of a nudie lip, if you like to look like more porn star-ish, like, which I don't like, you know what I mean? Like some people like wear that big like nude lip, but I actually like this. Like I was fucking around with it during the day yesterday and I liked it. Um, this one is um, Dainty Days. I like them both a lot. Okay, so I fixed my lips. Um, now I just want to get into other like bullshit too with you guys. I want to fix this because it's supposed to be up here. Okay. Um, all right, I just want to, okay, so I want to talk to you guys um, about some shit. I don't, okay, I don't, I'm going to get into like, like real shit later, but. Um, okay. I want to talk about something that happened. Okay, first I have like a I have like a drama thing that happened to me. Like, like, did you guys catch me on my Insta? Insta I don't like the way I look right now. I look. Like, I'm not like loving the way I look right now. Like, I look very like shiny right here, and it's because stupid powder I put on. I put like too much. Okay. Um, I need to tell you guys. Okay, I don't know where to go first. I don't know if I'm gonna. Talk I'm just gonna talk about what happened to me um, on the road because a lot of you guys feel me on this shit and I just feel like it, these things need to be addressed so that other so that you don't act like a fucking dick yourself just don't because if I just don't just don't do it I drive from my house to downtown like every day for work except for like one day a week when I film I go so I'm like on the 10 or the 405 and the 405 like constantly and if you guys are not from LA then um you'll know you probably what I'm talking about but they are like the worst freeways in the world. They just fucking suck, okay? Like they are so, so much traffic. It's just horrible, okay? It's the worst. Luckily for me, I go like, I miss traffic. So I will, or I will leave like whatever. I miss traffic, shut up. Oh my God. Like why do I can't just like, why do I do that? Like who cares? Just say you miss traffic. Like why do you have to go into detail about why or how? Like you know, it's just, shut up. God. Damn it. Okay. This is the worst part of this. I never put my top down on the way into work. I don't. Just because I like to put my top down at night. I really think that, and I'm allowed to say this because I have a convertible. I feel like people with their top, with top convertible top, the top down, with a convertible with their top down, you're a fucking douchebag. Like, I we see people in convertibles and I'm like, oh my God, like you're a douchebag. And I know it. I'm a douchebag. I get it. Like I have a convertible, like people with convertibles are embarrassing. Like I, I, it's embarrassing. I don't know why it is like, bitch, put your fucking top up and act normal. Just shut up. Like you are, you have crossed the line with me just by having your top down. Like who the fuck do you think you are? I don't know what it is. I just how I feel about people. I don't know. Like I've had two, I've had a couple convertibles. Okay. Like I, just, I, I mean, so I get it. I'm, I don't get it. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. If you don't get it, I don't know what to say. I shouldn't have to say anything. So I only, typically only put my top down at night because it's like after work and it's like dark and I don't feel embarrassed like with my top down because you can't like, you can't like see the dumb shit, the dumb bitch in the um, convertible like, oh my, like bitch, stop. I hate you. You know what I mean? Um, but this, but on um, this particular morning, I had had my top up previ the previous night. I didn't put it up in the garage. And so I, when I was leaving, I was like, I'm just gonna put it down. I'm gonna leave it down for the morning in. It's a really nice day out. So I was driving into work and I never do this because it is so fucking rude. If you, I swear to God, it should be a law. There should be a law. You should not be able to put your windshield wipers on with the spray if you're on the freeway. You are so fucking rude. Okay, this is what happened. I am not kidding. So if you guys are in LA, you know the merge. Okay, if you're on the 405 and you're getting onto the 10 to go to the east to go to downtown, right? There's it's really fucked there. Like by Santa Monica, like exit, like it's fucked, okay? I have probably nearly died a thousand times because I I'm not the kind of person to like wait all the way back. I, I will go in the fast lane and then I'll start merging over towards the end. Like I'm not, I'm not like cheating. I just am not stupid. Okay. So anyway, I've nearly died a million times or whatever. Okay. Um, so 
I am on that two way, like that two, whatever, on the on ramp going from the 10 to the 405. And there's this dumb ass codger, okay? This old fart, okay? And he's not like a million years old. He's just a dumb shit, okay? He's probably like 70, okay? Which is old, whatever. I don't give a shit. Like, you have no manners. And he's, I'm allowed to talk to him about, I'm allowed to say this because he's an, you guys, he's an asshole. So he's in like this brand new red like Mercedes, okay? It's not a convertible. And I was just driving, okay? Just driving. And I was behind him and I was thinking to myself, why, like, fuck, I was like, he's probably getting the fast lane, he's probably getting the fast lane, he's going so slow, whatever. So I was like sitting behind him, but I was just like enjoying the day. All of a sudden, this stupid fuck turns on his, turns on his windshield wipers, you guys, with my top down. I didn't get wet, thank God, just because of like the like the design of the car, like it's not gonna hit you. But I had just gotten a fucking car wash. I had just got, I had spent like $40 on a fucking car wash. This asshole, did, you're 70 years old and you don't know how to act still. You don't know that on the freeway you're gonna fucking wet everyone behind you, you stupid fucking asshole. Do you not have any consideration for anyone other than yourself? I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing, let alone there's someone behind you in a fucking convertible. You are a fucking asshole. And he didn't do it. I, I thought, I was like, did he do this on purpose? But I, I was like, there's no way. You guys, I literally almost ran him off the road. I cut him off so hard. Like, I didn't give a shit. I was like, this guy, he like needs to end himself. Like, I cannot believe he would do this. I was absolutely shocked that he would do that to me. Especially, especially on the freeway. You put your windshield wipers and there's someone on behind you so it ruins their car. Do you, not have, do you not think about that? That maybe someone behind you either, I wouldn't have thought about the convertible thing, but they just got their car washed. Maybe they don't want to have to fucking put their, do that in when you're in parked position. That's when you're supposed to do that. When you're in parked ass position, okay? You're not supposed to do it on the freeway. You know what? You're actually not supposed to do it when you're driving too. I get really mad about that. Don't wash your car windows when you're driving. Did you just start driving yesterday? Like, no. So annoyed. Okay, also I gotta get something off my chest too because I know you guys are gonna like fucking kill me. I'm gonna have like, I know you guys are gonna have a heart attack when I tell you this because like you'll never, you're like, oh my God, like, uh, Like, so what? Okay, just stop. Yes, I went to Bath and Body Works. Like, it doesn't matter, okay? Like, I swear to God, like I had this out with you guys. I had this out with you guys. Um, Sorry, someone just called on uh in my, my insta live this weekend but yes i did okay because i have gone through a lot of hell you guys know from my last video trying to find a pumpkin candle that i was like i have no other option like halloween is gonna be over i'm not gonna have my pumpkin candle so i went in there and i did get two candles i'm gonna show them to you guys like i i don't know it smells nice to me it smells fine um I'm just gonna get Bath and Body Works from now on for pumpkin candles. Like I take it back. Like I said, I'm not gonna go there because I don't like. But I, I think they're fine. Like I really think they're okay. So I got this banana cream pie one, and I've already like really burnt so much of it. I really like it. And then my next one, um, it's kind of starting to smell like burnt though. You know what I mean? Like when it's burnt too much. So um, I'm I don't know. Like I, I don't. I think I'm done with this. Like I don't think I'm gonna burn it one more. I might burn it one more time, but it's starting to smell like burnt wick, you know what I mean? Okay, the next one I got was a cinnamon spice vanilla and it smells like a milky cinnamon like drink to me, like a, maybe a milky cinnamon like hot drink, I don't know. So I got this one and it's nice, it's like not overpowering and I didn't like any of all the pumpkin ones, they have like a very strong tick, like scent, sorry. This, people like won't leave me alone right now, okay. um. So those, I got those. And like, I just knew I had to tell you guys because like a lot of you guys take bath and take things like very seriously. Like it's like, it's like, I, I don't want to have a heart attack on my hand from you guys. I know you got a fucking heart attack over it. Some of you. Okay. Um, okay. So that, um, also So the next thing I wanna talk about actually is the weight loss thing. And I'm, it's another thing I'm kind of gonna yell at you guys about, um, only because it's not gonna yell at you, but it's like, I get so many questions and you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, why are people asking that? This is so true, like what? I You guys don't understand how many questions I get about how I lost my weight. Like, I'm sorry, where the fuck have you been? Like, I'm sorry, I, 
And I feel like this, I feel like if you're not watching my videos, like you don't get to know. Like, no, I'm not gonna like answer you like that. Like, no, bitch. Like, you need to be watching my videos. Like, if you're not, if you don't know, then you don't know, okay? If you, then go watch the videos. Like, that is the, that is the point here, okay? I'm not gonna like, I mean, I might do like what I, like a weightless video, like, but I'm not gonna like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you not know? Like, every, like, you guys all know, like, what I'm doing, right? Like, I always fight with you guys about how everyone's like, oh my god, like, it's not about the calories, I don't know what the calories about, like, oh my god, it's okay to eat avocado. Like, no, it's not okay to eat avocado, actually. If you get avocado, you could, might as well go have, you might as well have a, a french fry from McDonald's. Tell me which one you'd rather have. Would you rather have a french fry from McDonald's, or would you rather have fucking avocado? Because I'll tell you, I have the goddamn french fry, okay? It's all about the calories, okay? I don't care. I've always told you guys this from day one. Yeah, I may not have, like, stuck on my diet. That's why I actually never, like, lost enough. Go ask doctor now if you don't believe me. Like, I don't want to talk to you guys about this. It's all about the fucking calories. It's simple math. Like, I'm sorry if you guys can't do it. It's, like, simple addition, but it's all about the calories. And any of those, like, nutritionists out there, oh, my God, like, She's so unhealthy. Like, bitch, I don't give a shit. I'm not trying to be, like, healthy right now. Like, I'm not unhealthy. I eat vegetables and shit. Like, it's, who cares? Like, you're so annoying. People are trying to lose weight, okay? So, it's about the calories. If you want to eat, seriously, if you want to eat McDonald's, you can and still lose weight. If you want to eat fucking cookies, you can still lose weight. Like, I have not, I have told you guys a million times, this entire time, I have not really deprived myself. Like, if I wanted to go to Mexican food, I would. I just wouldn't completely and totally, like, be a fucking cow. But I would still be able to go. I would just make sure the rest of the day I ate very, very little, very low cal until I was just, that's what you do. So I want to hear from you guys out there. It's like, are you living under a fucking rock? Like, you don't know about calories? Like, I'm sorry. What the hell? Like, I feel so bad for people out there who just don't get it. Like, really? The fuck? I, it's true, too. Like, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to say the person, but this person, honest to God, you guys, I had a huge fight with someone, a huge fight. I'm not going to even say who it was. This person did not believe me when I said, if I ate a thousand calories of Oreos one day, sorry, if whatever. Okay. If I ate a thousand calories of Oreos all day, it's all I ate. Or if I ate 5,000 calories of broccoli, who would I lose? Which, which one would I lose weight with? the Oreos, okay? And this person did not believe me, did not believe me, okay? It's like, I can't even speak to you. Like, you're so stupid. Like, I can't, like, this is, I just can't speak to you if you're that stupid, I'm sorry, I can't. So that, that, that is like done, like, I can't speak to you anymore. It's, oh my God, what's wrong with you? You're fucking retarded. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about, so yeah, it's all about the calories, you guys. I'm not gonna talk, like, I, like, if you've been blocked from Instagram, like, then yeah, you don't get to see, okay? And then, you know, go fuck yourself. I don't care. But, um, do I love my lips? Like, I'm really loving my lips. So I feel like I have to do them like that a little bit. Like, that's the thing with this. It's like, it has to be really, like, sharp like that. Like, it has to, like, like be like, like that. You know what I mean? Ugh, I have to fix my face. I should be a plastic surgeon. I should be a plastic surgeon. Okay. I have something else to show you, and this also pissed me off. Like, you guys are like, in the biggest trouble today. You know what I feel like? If you didn't come, like, I feel like if you didn't come to class, you don't get to hear the note, you don't get to hear the lecture after. Don't ask me about shit. Don't ask me about how I lost my weight. Like, obviously, I've been speaking about it. Wouldn't you think to go back and, like, go to the, like, go and review the class notes? Like, go watch the video. Don't fucking go ask the, like, the professor, like, about the lecture he just gave, bitch. God. really um a serious thing now and this is another thing that pissed me off with some of you some of you guys like in my last video people were like do I have, I have to get Botox this is like not cute like that is not cute by the way do you guys like my eyebrows okay um so I can't show you again on my phone because I'm using my phone as a viewfinder but I saw this picture when I was like really skinny at like kind of actually I think I'm like as skinny as I was to be honest like five four years ago like when I was living in like the marina like remember like my little the shitty apartment fuck that place um I think I'm like that because I fit in the clothes that I used to fit into and stuff. Thank God. You guys, like, looking back, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a video about, about this because, like, it's been such a, such a situation. Like, this being fat thing has been, like, such a bad thing for me. Like, this, the creeping up. And 
Um, I'm not going to blame it all on certain a certain situation in my life, but a lot of it is because of that. Like, just general unhappiness with a certain aspect in my life. Um, and, like, not feeling that I, like, just being, turning to food because there wasn't any, anyway, it's like, okay, there's, like, a big thing with whatever. Okay, that's, I might just do it, like, a video later because I think I will. Okay. But, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, anyway, I so, um, so I saw a picture of myself, um, with, like, really, I, you know, I do, like, straight, like, I feel like Korean girls do, like, straight eyebrows. So I was like, I'm just gonna do that again. Do we like them on me? I love them, but I don't know. You guys are gonna say no, you don't. I know. I love you guys to say no, I don't shit. Okay, so in here, okay, so like my last video, a lot of a lot of people were like, oh my god, like you didn't even talk about Xiao. Like, oh my god, you know what bitch? Because I talked a lot about Xiao the day he fucking died, okay? I didn't want to fucking talk about him. And so rude to bring it up, to be honest. Like, no, I don't wanna like be emotional in every fucking video. Maybe I wanna take a break from it. Like, how dare you fucking bring that up? Like, you're so rude. And I hope you don't fucking even subscribe to my channel anymore because I'm so sick of people doing that. Like, questioning my, like, heart or something. And you are, you're nasty. You're like a nasty person. You're a very nasty person to bring that up. Okay. So, um, to question me, I mean, not to, like, bring it up. Okay. So, um, Xiao, this is what, to be honest, this is what I was going to do. I'm just going to tell you, I'm very honest with you guys. So this is my thing. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be very honest with you. You guys know this and I'll get in trouble for it too. I'm, I forgot to back up again, right? This sounds like following me. Okay. Um, so Xiao, I love you. Xiao, okay. I'll tell you. So this is the thing. You guys know I bought Bao originally and Bao is like my first child. I love Bao so much. So, so, so much. But I thought that Bao was lonely. So I... My love is always Bao. I bought Xiao for Bao. Like, I love Xiao, yes, but he also was, um, like, I don't know. I never had, he never allowed me to have an attachment to him, really an attachment, like an, oh my God, I love you so much. Like, Bao, I cry about it, I think about him. I, of course, I love Xiao too, but it's like, um, Xiao was, became instantly like a, like a protector of Bao, and they were together. Like, I never was able to get close to Xiao, plus he, was a very large rabbit, so I never got, I didn't really hold him a lot, like, it's just a different, it was a different thing, where Bao was a very, a smaller rabbit, like, a little bit more submissive, but very grumpy, it's just the, was the, they were two completely different animals, anyway, um, so I love Xiao a lot, but like I said, Bao is, like, my heart, okay, like, legitimately, he means so much to me, okay, so I thought to myself, what am I going to do with this rabbit? Like when Xiao died, I was like, what am I going to do with him, his body? And I was like, maybe I'll just bury, bury him in the backyard near where Bao is. Um, and I know it's illegal or whatever, but I don't give a shit. Okay. Like shut up. I mean, what? It's a fucking rabbit. Like, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's an animal. It's not like a huge dog. And I know people that do all the time. Like I know a lot of people that bury their animals in the backyard, like whatever. So, but then I was like, wait, last, I was like, wait, what I, am I, what am I going to, am I going to do that to Bao? Am, am I going to put Xiao in the ground, like in a box? Like, I, I don't know if I feel good about that. So last minute I was like, no, because I think that with Bao, I'm going to have Bao cremated so that, I don't know. I think I might have Bao and Xiao. Okay. Okay. This one, anyway. So I decided last minute to have Bao, Xiao cremated so that when I, when Bao dies, I can at least put them like together. You know what I mean? I don't know how or what, but um, I don't wanna tell you guys the company, the name of this 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 company, and I'm gonna show you. Obviously, like, um, they did not pay me to do this or anything. Like, I found them on, like, Yelp. Their company is Paws Pet Cremation, and they're on 16th Street in LA. They were so nice, you guys, and I'm shocked about how like uh, they delivered Shao's remains um, when I wasn't here. Um, my housekeeper was here, so she like collected, so I didn't see anything, but they, they went above and beyond. Like they really, really, I'm like just touched. I just thought they were like deliver the box. So they gave me a certificate of cremation and it says Shao Shao on it. And when they went and they picked it up, they said, do you want just regular cremation? Did you, and they give you other options. Like, do you want his paw print? And I said, did you want a lock of his hair? And I was like, yes, I definitely want that. I didn't even know there was an option. And here's the bag and it has like a little name. It says, in loving memory, Xiao Xiao, loved by Alexandra, res respectfully cremated by Paws Pet Cremation in LA. And it's really nice. Like, it's like, a, you know what I mean? It's not just like, I don't know. I didn't know it was like gonna be a nice thing. 
Okay, so then of course showers in here. Like you guys know what this looks like, right? And then if you, I'm not, you can't see anything. Don't worry, don't be scared. But um, so this is him in here, and it's really everything is done really nicely. And there's a little number, and it says pause pet. And it's like a little metal tab. It's just like done really nicely. And then um, here's his little lock of hair in here. And that's that. So sad. And then. I got his footprint on this little, on little plaque, and his name is engraved in here. And she said, Shao Shao, and that's his footprint. So, it's like, what's, it's so funny. It's like, what is this, like, life? You know what I mean? Like, like, Shao is, like, now in this, it's just so weird. Like, what was his purpose? This little, like, rabbit who, I don't know. Life is a trip, you guys. Okay. Um, with, and there's also a card, it's all handwritten. I mean, I just feel like the detail, the attention, and the, like, at the, it's very, I like this place a lot. I mean, I've never had to deal with, like, a cremation situation, but if you're in LA and something happens, I would definitely go to this pause pet cremation because they were really, really, really nice to me. And I was just really impressed with, like, I mean, everything that, you know, I don't know. There was a lot of care. You can t tell it wasn't just like, okay, yeah, here's the box. I don't know. Even, you know, like just everything is handwritten. Nice. I don't know. It's very nice. So that's that. So when, so I was going to ask you guys what you think. Um, when Bao passes, which to be honest with you guys, like, I don't think he has very long left only because he's already like, so he's already surpassed what he should have lived. Like, I'm just like thankful every single day. Like, Every single night and day I go out there to feed him and give him his medicine and stuff, I dread it because I'm just like waiting for him to, I'm waiting to go out there to not, to not be good and I'm going to be a mess. But, um, do you guys think I should put Shao, like Shao's box in his, in the, in the bunny house? I think, I thought maybe I should, but I don't want to confuse him. Tell me what you guys think, and I don't want like peanut gallery stuff. I want like people who actually have like experience. Not like, oh, I think you should do this. Like people who are like vets or like something who like people who like get it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, oh yeah, then I was gonna say. So what I was thinking is because, like, what I don't know what to do with like ashes. Like, what am I gonna do for the rest of my life? Keep these ashes with me in boxes. I don't get it. Like, I don't know. It's weird. So I'm thinking do, maybe I'll bury both of the boxes together, like in a really nice, like under one of the trees in the backyard. Then it's like they're free. They're not like stuck in a box. I think that this, that'd be better, but together. You know what I mean? And they can just like go back into the earth. So, because I don't know, like I don't think Bao and Shao want to be stuck in these boxes. And, I, and then like, if I, if I pass away, the boxes can get thrown away. You know what I mean? Like, no one's gonna like give a shit about Bao and Shao in a box. Just gonna like, literally toss them. So I better like take care of it. You know what I mean? Like, just you know what I mean? I don't know. So that's what I was thinking. But um, yeah. So okay. So back to my like um diet thing and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like oh my god I hate when people say do you guys remember like one of the videos I did a very long time ago I must have been like when I first started um I've always been doing I've been done calories my entire life when I first sorry you guys know I have indigestion because I talk a lot sorry um so I was like talking about how I eat lucky charms and shit or some shit I don't forget I don't remember and some dumbass like professor or some shit like posted my video about how this is like, this is like an eating disorder. Okay, bitch, this is not an eating disorder. I want you to stand next to me, okay? And then we'll see who looks better. I don't have an eating disorder, believe me, okay? I can't, I don't have an eating disorder. Maybe I do. <laughs> um, okay, so what I was gonna say is that, like for example, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm gonna be real. And because I'm not gonna lie to you, like I'm not gonna lie, I don't give a shit. So the majority of the days, like I will not, I will like, you know, come home, I'll like eat normally, like just, you know, smaller things like here and there and just make sure I'm like really under calories and whatever, really on top of it, like measuring everything out. Um, but like, for example, today, why did I really, like the sun's really irritating me to be honest. Um, 
today I really do feel like I think I want to get in and out. Like I really want a burger. Do we love my lips? I like love my lips. Why they look like that? Right? Looks so much better. Um, so I won't probably eat all day long. I'll probably just only have this. Um, all day long. And then tonight I will be able to get my cheeseburger and fries. Um, yeah. Okay, it's so stupid. I literally hate people so much. Like, you're gonna sit here and like tell me I have an eating disorder when you have no idea? Or you're gonna go tell your class? Like, you're so irresponsible. Why? Because I'm counting calories, you fucking bitch. Stupid. Who is that? Someone, some, some subby sent me this. Like, oh my god, I'm looking at my class, like showing like nutrition or something. That is so rude, bitch. Okay, whoever that professor was. Like, I haven't gotten over that. Um, so the thing is too, like, for example, yesterday, um, typically I don't eat anything. Like I, I, I thought sure in the morning I'll have coffee and then I'll have like some, some kind of pastry, like at around hundred calories, something, whether it's like a slice of like raisin bread or like, I don't do my 90 calorie packs anymore because they fuck that up. General Mills, <sighs> stupid ass bitches. Fuck my fucking breakfast. Fuck my breakfast up so bad. Um, so I was that, and then I'll get into work and I will have a coffee, whether it's like an almond milk latte or a black coffee, but I will not get a pastry. If I get a pastry of some sort, it will be a hundred calories item. It will be very controlled, but it'll be with a black coffee. It won't be with the latte because the latte already has calories, okay? so. Then at around three o'clock, typically at work, I can't take it anymore. Like no, like two thirty. Like I can't take it. Sometimes I'm like, I, I just have to have something. So I'll have like a bag of pop chips and a diet coke. Okay. So then the whole day I probably had three hundred and fifty calories. One, two, three, fifty. Yeah, about three fifty. Okay, calories the whole day. So I'm trying to be around twelve hundred. I try to like. I mean, if I'm, I'm not gonna force myself to eat. Um. And then when I get home, I'm usually like, you know, starving for dinner. I'll make like lean cuisine and vegetables and shit like that. Or like, you know, like a stir fry of some sort or like vegetable, like whatever. I'll make something up. I always, I'm like really good at making shit up. Um, but like recently, you guys, I haven't been that hungry. Like I think my body, I think what it is too is like I don't give myself a lot of choices, which is really important. It's so important to limit what you allow yourself to eat. Like if you have too many choices, like... I'm the kind of person, if I go to the supermarket when I'm hungry, I love, I like, will buy all this shit and I'll get home and I like, have to try everything. Like, I wanna try this, I wanna try that, I wanna try that, I wanna try that, like there's a bite of everything, I'm just sick. And that's like 400 calories of just like picking, you know what I mean? I'm like weird, like, I just like sample my groceries. Like, so fucking weird. Um, so I don't do that. Like there's certain things on the menu. Like there's certain things you guys know what they are. And I'm not going to talk to you guys. Like we know what they are. They're like, they're like blueberries and yogurt and like jellos and shit like that. Like we don't do anything else. Like it's not available because to be honest, I am mortified by my previous photos like last year and before that. Like I knew I was fat, but I like, thought it was passable. I legitimately thought it was passable. For me, I don't care if you want it, if you're fat and you're happy, like leave me the fuck alone. This is my diary, my channel. Like I don't want to hear it from you. Like shut up. I want to speak about what I want to speak about. Actually, it's really funny too. One more story I think I'm gonna get going because I feel like sit here talking all day long to you guys. <clears throat> um so yesterday I I don't go to like my, there's certain suppliers I don't go to, like Judy goes to certain suppliers and I go to certain suppliers or we go together like for work. And um, there's some suppliers that I don't go to anymore just because I've been going to them for so, 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 so long. They don't like need me to go anymore. So when I go back and see, and I see my suppliers, I've been going to certain people for like eight years. Like I have, I'm like really good friends with them. Like, you know, I'm not friends, but like, we're like, <laughs> you know, like whatever. You need someone you work with, a colleague, but it's not really. So yesterday I went into this one supplier and to be honest, I have been a little bit apprehensive about going in because I didn't, I've been worried about, he's, I, he's like um, an old man and he's a foreign, foreigner. And I'm like, you know, I have like my, my mom's side is Greek. So like, I understand like for old men, old foreign men are very flirty and they're very like blunt. And if you look good, they'll tell you you look good. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, like, you know, when we're going out, like stupid shit like that, whatever, I don't care. 
Um, and so I was apprehensive to go in there because I didn't want to say, I didn't want his eyes to light up and be like, oh my gosh, you look so good in reference to how bad I looked before, right? So I was kind of like dreading going in and like, um, anyway, we had to stop in yesterday. So we went in there and of course he's like, wow he's like oh my gosh and then he said too he's like you look so good like a different person and i was like thank you thank you so much yeah you know i know i was getting to be a cow <laughs> like huh and um he's like he's honestly he's like i was thinking to myself but i wanted to tell you like you know you why were you doing that to yourself and i was like oh it's worse than i thought it wasn't just like telling me that he was, gonna, like, he was really thinking i was fat and he like was wanting to tell me like why are you doing this to yourself you were like such a pretty girl like why are you doing this to yourself so I was like, oh fuck, like I was really fat. <laughs> and I, I know it was big, but like I wasn't, I guess because I was used to like when I was in high school, college, maybe in college, I reached like 180 pounds, you know that. I never, because I didn't get back up to that, I never thought I was that bad, but I guess I was like getting to be kind of bad. And looking at my pictures, I was like, oh, it's like really hard, but it's like night and day. Like life is night and day, you guys. For me, like not having the weight, it is so much easier. But it's just that for you, know, for you guys out there who are struggling, like it has to click for you. Like you couldn't tell me anything, and for me to like be ready, you have to just be ready. Like it legitimately is like an addiction. So, oh my god, the breeze just like flipped through my window and my face. They're so nice. I love like a breeze. I love like a leaf. Like the le I can see like leaves out there and like a breeze. Like, die for it. All right, you guys. So, was this a fucking stupid video? I don't know. So that ah, see it did it. It like went down. God damn. And the stupid sun's like following me. All right, you guys. So don't forget to check out this whole stack. I will put down my Ching Ching stack. And remember that if you get all of them, the whole collection, you save forty dollars. Like, right off the top. It's already calculated out. There's no like code needed or anything. Let me come up closer. I'm like really in the fucking sun. These videos, these videos are just gonna like, you know, like I go in phases. Some, I, I don't know, the, I, who knows? I, I'm gonna try the lighter one. Like maybe forever I'll just sit here and talk to you guys. But for now, that's what I wanna do. And remember I said I was gonna like do questions today? Like, no, I'm not gonna fuck with questions. You guys are gonna like, a lot of people are gonna ask, ask stupid shit. I don't wanna talk about it, like stupid shit. Plus, like, I feel like I'm, oh, I fucked it up. I feel like I'm too, like, what's the word? I feel like I'm too, like, no, this is how it's going to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> to, like, take questions. Because <laughs> I'll be like, no. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that either. Okay, I lost the top of this. All right. Okay, you guys, that's it. Uh, okay.